all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this one up tutorial we're trying to see how to run streamlit from collab using a very nice package called ng rock right so we're trying to see how to run your streamlit so let's say you are doing a work then you need more compute maybe you need a tpu or a gpu and you don't have you can use streamlit to help you with that using collab and then ng rock so that's what we're trying to do so we have this wonderful app which is already from here you can see that it's running on this particular url and then ngrock.io right so in case you want to be able to do that let's see how to do that so the first step is that you need to create an account on ngrock which is free right you can just create an account so you just go to ngrock.com then you create an account that's the first step then the second step is of course you need collab right so you just go to collab then you need to install streamlet and then pi ngrock which is going to act as a wrapper around ngrock itself then We'll be running Streamlight from Colab, but it will be run at the background. So you can use NoHub or you can use the normal Linus running of background, running of program background, right? That is the basic understanding. So let's see the workflow. So it's going to be something like this. So this is your app right on your system. The best way that we always, always do is that you run it locally. In case you want somebody to see it, you deploy it into the cloud, right? AWS, Heroku, any of them. And the person will be able to access it. So NGROC is also acting something like that. Is allowing you to be able to get access to your app right either locally or inside collab it's going to create a secure tunnel that's and going to generate a url that you can give to pe people and then they can also have access to your app whether it is locally or inside collab that is the basic understanding right so what you are doing now is we are moving it from our laptop locally to collab then you are using ngrock to enable us to be able to deploy it for everybody to benefit from right that is the basic understanding so let's start so first of all let's install streamlit so pip install streamlit at the first half so we're going to install it i've already installed it but let's install it for beginners so requirement already satisfied then the next step is that we need to install to pip install ng pi ng rock right that is the next step that is step two right don't forget to create an account on ng rock right perfect so that is the two main steps so you are done with them so the next thing we need to do is that we are going to write our app and then save it inside collab right so collab as we saw in this picture is actually a cloud service that is running on vms and containers right so just like a local system so you can actually see what is there so we're writing our file to that particular container that particular vm there so i'll just go with this option with the asterisk asterisk right or there's a magic not asterisk percent percent and you have write file right this is jupyter notebook and i'll pass in the name of the file that i want to write the current code within the cell to so that's pi so i'll write my streamlight up here right so i'll copy it and paste it there to save us time this the same way you would have written your app right inside locally like this right so i'm just going to copy something like this and then we're going to use it right in our app i just go back to cool up then i'll paste it here right so the same thing that i would have written there just like the normal way but the only difference with what we are doing now is that we are actually we are actually writing it on a file so let me take off this because i copied it here right so we are not using an image here this is using the new features we are not using any of them right that is something very basic so let me take all of this there so that it becomes clean right perfect so let's call this one as so collab dot i <laughs> anyhow you call it or st collab st collab right something like that so that is how to do that so that is the second step right so we have written it on here so if i click on this one it's going to write it and save it into our current location so if i go back here so that's writing a app.py right which is very interesting then the next thing that i can now move on to the next step of running streamlight right so i can actually run streamlight so if i go back to ls i see that we have this app.py there right so the app.py there it has written it and stored it inside our container or our vm here that's the big understanding so next thing is to create ngrock and to to start our app and to allow ngrock to tunnel it to the outside to the public to the general to everybody so how do we do that so the first thing 
is that we just go back to our account that we created if you go to the account that you created your dashboard it's going to give you you click on this connect your account it's going to give you a token right that which you're going to use to authenticate to, to allow you to be able to work on it so let's try it so the token is going to be something like this right so you just run it ng rock then alt token to run it perfectly that is the next step right then now let's see how to run our app so we'll be using pi ng rock to run it once you install ng rock right you can actually check it out with this option right if i check with ng rock it's going to list the help for me right so ng rock is a tunnel service these are all the viewers things so we can this is going to save your authentication configuration file which you get from here it's going to if you scroll down you're going to see it here then it's going to save it inside your current place then can do all of these things there right so let's work on it from python it's going to be from pi ng rock import n ng rock as a first stuff then we're going to use ng rock to create an account so let's call this public url right our public url so it's going to be ng rock dot connect and i'm passing a port so the port i'm passing here is the port that i want it to be seen outside right so the port that i'll be listening to and then streamlight as you already know streamlight mostly run on this port port 8501 right that is the port that streamlight will run on so i'll be setting that particular port but before i run this particular command i have to start streamlight right so let's start it here so i just come back here and then let's start streamlight so it's going to be you can use in case you are using no hub you can just go with no hub right asterisk no hub right then streamlight run app dot pi so this app dot pi is referring to our file and then this is the normal way we run streamlight right but no hub may not work all the time so we can also use this option yes an alternative method go with asterisk streamlight run app dot pi right then i'm going to send it to the background so it's going to be like how we send things to the background with the dot with the ampersign then we are sending it to no so this is how it's going to be right so we're just sending it to the background either use no hub or use this particular one it's going to start streamlight for us as a starting streamlight and it's going to send it to the background so you see that streamlight is actually running you can just come back here and then let's check it out so i can just go with the normal process right so i can just go with p i can just go there are several ways you can do it. just hit the process right you can just use a simple p grip process grip then i'll pass in stream this is simple right so this is a command linus command I'm going to tell me whether streamlight is already running so it's running on 445 right that's the command that is a process it is running on now that means that streamlight is working perfectly well and now i can actually start it so i run this particular port that is the port that streamlight is running on then i'll come back here to the next option let's close this one so that it doesn't it doesn't affect what you are doing we are closing the old one we are closing this one right we are closing this one so i'll just come back here then i'll go with public url if i run it now it's going to work perfectly for us it's going to give us the url to run on so this is the url that streamlight is running on so i just copy this url and now i can come back to this place and check it out hopefully it works if it doesn't work we have to just kill the previous one perfect you can see that now it's working perfectly so that is how to run streamlight from colab right very simple very easy right so that's a big understand so you this is the url that you're using you can also modify the url in case you want right so that is another scope so that's a big understanding so to recap all you need is to install streamlit and then pi ng rock right and then you're going to write your code on inside colab then going to use this particular command to tunnel it right so that is a big understanding so let's check it out again so i'll come back here the first thing we did was that we created an account on this particular website so the first thing we did was we went to ng rock we created an account that's the first step then it's going to give you some tokens that you're supposed to use to activate right 
then the next thing is that we installed streamlets and then PyNG rock that is the next step that we did then when we went and installed it we we also use this particular command right write file then the name of the file that you wanted to write on then we pasted in our code that was the next step right then it was written there then it was stored there then we use our authentication we use ngrock auth authenticate the, the code you are going to get from your dashboard here when you check this particular down here there's going to store it inside there right then from here we also use normal python to create a tunnel right so first of all you run your app first then the port that you're going to be using which is port 8501 we are going to run it either using no hub at the background or using this particular command at the background then you're going to open the ports or supply the ports that has been opened on streamlight via ngrock right perfect and then we just run it so it's going to give you a url then you're going to open a particular url here so we say we have our st collab right which is the new modification that you have added the new additions you have added so thank you for watching this tutorial see you another time so it's very simple the only command you need is just you need this particular command you run your app like how you run it normally then you just need this particular command and then you put so thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed bye and also to in case you want to shut it down right you can actually shut it down so let's shut it down so those that want to shut it down you can actually shut it down here so in case you want to shut it right so since we saw that this was the running process right you can actually do the same thing kill then you kill the process behind four five right it's going to kill it perfectly it's going to kill that running process it's giving us an error so because we're supposed to run it as a magic magic command with that asterisk with not that asterisk with the exclamation it's going to kill that particular process perfect the stream light has been killed now i can also go on and let's check it out that is gone right perfect so in case i want to close this ng rock i also come back to the same place and just go with ng rock kill so ng rock dot kill this kill is coming from the python function that we imported that's going to kill it perfectly for us now it's no more there right so that is how to run streamlight from call up it's now it's not working it has been disabled so thank you for watching this tutorial see you another time stay blessed